So right now we're on our way to an abandoned children's asylum where they basically take mentally challenged kids and like put them away. So this park is open daily from dusk till dawn. We have to stay at paved services at all times. Huh. What if I strap a piece of pavement to my feet, like underneath my shoes, and am I allowed to just walk anywhere? Yeah, that's how it works here. So yeah, technically we're not doing anything wrong right now. We're on an open park path, just walking through this abandoned village. This was basically a town at one point. There's so many buildings here. Yeah, these are indeed paved services. We can continue this way. Those are doors. Door looks open. It definitely does. Should I try it? Nah, it doesn't look open no, actually. It's so it's pretty cool just being able to walk around basically an abandoned asylum property and not get stopped or ask questions because this is a park. So we're just here in front of these buildings. We're on a paved surface and we're good. Look at this building. It's all collapsed. No more roof there. So far, these buildings do look boarded up pretty decently, actually. The basketball court over there. So we found an open door on the other side of the building we passed. And <laughs> there's paved surfaces leading up to it. So we're just gonna stroll right inside. Look at this, we're staying on a paved surface. Not doing anything wrong. I like the skylight right here. Let's have a look around. Mm -hmm. So if you had a child with any kind of mental disorder, the parents would basically have them taken away and stored over here. What do you think's in the laundry room? Laundry machines mm -hmm. and a big ass spider. And this is going to be another wing of beds. Mm -hmm. Let's try and find a way down, maybe. There's got to be some sort of sub-floor to this basement. Maybe there's something. You realize all the buildings in this complex are small buildings. Yeah, yeah. So that means, like... If there's no tunnels connecting them, we're gonna have to find a way into every single building individually. Yeah. Employee, employee break room. Eh, not much, just lockers and a kitchen. There are no stairs or anything to tunnels in there, so we're on to the next building. Basketball court. These look pretty nearly boarded up. Yeah. All looks to be brand new boards on some of the doors. A lot of them are just busted right open too. Huh. Haven't left a paved path. It smells like piss in here. Now we got some lights.
Fireplace. Yeah, this fireplace is kind of cool. Yeah, fork it off. It looks like I stopped using it and wanted to not let the air from the outside in, maybe. It's the front door. Oh, yeah. Sweaters, blankets, blankets. And a food tray. Yep. There's a lot of clothes in here. Or are these just like, these are like linens? Yeah, linens it looks like. Hmm. Voters on this table. Looks like it used to be a, a sewing machine maybe? Yeah, maybe. That's why there's so many different cloths around here. I don't see stairs at all. No. The outside of these buildings with the vines and brickwork look really cool. There's a sign here that has an arrow pointing saying, this way to a shelter. That could be the basement. Might just have to check that out. That building right there has some pretty bad fire damage. It looks like one of the biggest buildings on the property. So we might go check it out anyway. We'll just have to be very careful where we step. Right now we're gonna head back to the car, get some bug spray because it's a little buggy out here. We don't want another tick scare. Oh, that's gonna my nose. All right, we got our bottles of DEET here. You know, no more tick scares. Is a cop driving away or towards us? It's driving into the property. Good thing we're not in there anymore. But it's not like we were doing anything wrong. We were on the we were on the paved path. Now we do have to go out that way. I mean there is there is an exit in the back too. Some really cool looking buildings with the vines on them, with the rock. So we did it for a full circle around this section of the area where the cop was, and the officer is nowhere to be seen. So we're gonna head off this way where the power plant is. We're still on a paved path though, so we're good. Wait until there's no cars. All right. I'm actually cross the street first. Yeah. All right, here is the sidewalk just keeps going. No signs from our path. So we're good. Oh, there are even steps down. So, because we just were in the public market area. Yeah. And there was a trail that and we was just walked right across the sidewalk and there was no barricades, no signs, nothing. No, yeah. Let's go right to the power plant first. So we're on a little ledge right here, and you can look out and see more buildings just keep on going. But yeah, this is the power plant, so if there are utility tunnels, they'll connect to here. So they've actually like repurposed a lot of this facility. Just driving around the city, we saw a bunch of old buildings, and they've just been repurposed for various things. Like we saw one that was a golf course clubhouse, another one that was a school. And it also just shows you how sprawling this place was. The buildings are just all over the whole city. Basically used to be the whole town and now it's turned into whatever now. Yeah. We're only allowed to walk around the ring road up on Stewart Road. Right right across here. the street there? That's it. Okay. No buildings, nowhere else. You okay? understand. Okay. This is your warning, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, no problem. My desk watches those cameras that are posted everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's how I knew you were here, mm -hmm. coming down here. So, I catch you one more time. You're both under arrest for trespassing, $500 bail, mm -hmm. and I tow your, your, uh, your Toyota out there. Yeah, okay? understood. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go to the 
so because we were basically told to get out of this area, we're gonna head up the mountain and see what kind of views we can get and possibly, more than likely, fly the drone. Helicopter made it home perfectly fine. After flying all around the mountain, we had to stop here to check out this view of the bridge and over the town over there. Look at the little farm. I know. They have a hole on themselves. to come out here and check out this abandoned waterworks. It's a historic building. We're not sure if we're gonna get in right now, but if we can find a way in, maybe. This place is sealed up pretty tight. So we're not gonna do this tonight. We're gonna head out because there might be power in there and there's some windows that aren't boarded up so that'll be visible from the outside. But yeah, this place was a huge water filtration and pumping system for this entire area, so that's pretty cool. Look at this old machine over here. This looks like it used to be something with a dam or whatnot. Yeah. It's cool. I think this was one of the more exciting vlogs of this trip, so hope you enjoyed it. I have to go to sleep now to get ready for another crazy day.